The following is a presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball. At position, tripped up, able to get the ball in the corner to Kaylee Smiler, who hits the three. BYU Women's Basketball is brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. By Wilner and O'Reilly, immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. By Utah Children's Dental Network, Utah's network of premier pediatric dentists and orthodontists. Learn more at utahcdn.com. Brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug, proud partner of BYU Athletics. Let's get you courtside to the All-Pro Capital courtside seats. For all the play-by-play action, here's Jason Shepard. Good evening, Cougar fans. Welcome inside gallagher Iba Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma for BYU Women's Basketball. Tonight, the BYU Cougars look to keep their conference winning ways going as they face the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Last Saturday in Provo, a special night to say the very least as the Cougars picked up their first Big 12 victory, defeating Cincinnati 68-58 behind five players scoring in double figures with the first Big 12 win under their belts. Tonight is about building off of that win and beginning a winning streak. Oklahoma State is 3-2 and two in conference play, but are coming off a road loss at Kansas. The Cowgirls are 7-1 and one right here at gallagher Iba Arena. It's time to get the keys to the game from our head coach, Amber Whiting. Keys to the game brought to you by your local Ford stores. BYU basketball built Ford proud. Keys to this game is we got to take care of the ball and we got to play on attack. I felt like they all played on attack last game and it was very balanced scoring, and so I would love to have that again. Coming off a game, you guys played so well. Of all the things that went well in that game against Cincinnati, what do you feel is the easiest to translate into this game? Ooh, um, us. Like our defense, how we can, you know, we can mix it up, um, and our mindset, because you can, we can control us. We can control, we can control. And outside of that, like I don't want to try and outthink them. I just want to make sure that we are um, doing what we do best. Tonight's starting lineups are presented by Skedit. Team Cosmo uses Skedit software to schedule his appearances. Let Skedit go to work for your entire service company. BYU, the familiar starting five, the freshman backcourt. Number one, Amari Whiting. Number 10 is Kaylee Woolston. The third guard is your senior, Kaylee Smiler. The two forwards, number 12, Lauren Gustin. And number 25 is Emma Calvert. For the home team here in Stillwater, number zero, Quincy Noble. Number four, Anna Gret Ossie. Also at the guard spot, number 32 is Staley Hurd. Number 12, the forward, Lior Garzon. And number 21 at center, Hannah Gusters. Opening tip coming your way, and it is brought to you by Doug Smith Kia. Make a fast break to Doug Smith Kia in American Fork for a wide selection of new and used cars like the all-electric EV6 or the eight-passenger Telluride. Doug Smith Kia just off the exit in American Fork. At midcourt, Gusters and... Calvert will jump it up, and the ball controlled by the BYU Cougars. BYU and the home Royals trimmed in white. Oklahoma State, the Cowgirls in the home white, trimmed in black and orange. Cougars immediately go down low to Gustin, kick it back out on the wing. Smiler now to Whiting. Ten seconds for the shot. Wide open three by Gustin is no good. Rims out, rebound to Quincy Noble. Grad transfer from McKinney, Texas. Has played and started every game for the Cowgirls. Noble into the corner. Now back up top. Pass to Ossie. Ossie pulls up from the free throw line. Jump shot too strong. Rebound, Smiler. Smile. Outlet pass to Woolston. Now back to Calvert. Straight away. Inside to Gustin. Spin. Left hand off the glass. No good. Rebound to Oklahoma State. Staley Hurd to Noble. Noble drives baseline off the glass and in. And the Cowgirls on the board first. It's 2-0 Oklahoma State. BYU comes in 1-4 in the Big 12. 11-7 overall. Oklahoma State 10-6. Jump shot from deep. No good. Rebound Oklahoma State. 
Oklahoma State three and two in conference play. Garzon down low to Gusters. Gusters up and in, and it's a four nothing lead for Oklahoma State. If you like orange, this is the stadium for you, to say the least. All of the seats in a certain shade of orange. A couple of different shades, but it's definitely oranged out here at Gallagher Iba. Down low to Calvert and just misses the push shot, rolled off the rim and into the hands of the Cowgirls. 4 0, Oklahoma State. Heard to a cutting noble down low. She's fouled. Bucket is no good, but she'll head to the free throw line for two. And a strong start for Oklahoma State. Two of three. BYU has begun the game 0 for 4. At the free throw line, Quincy Noble. A near 90% free throw shooter. And a substitution for Oklahoma State. Anna Gusters will check out. And praise Egarevba will check in from Germany. From Papenburg, Germany. Praise Egarevba. First free throw by Noble is good. And the lead is 5-0 for Oklahoma State. Second free throw coming up for Noble, and she hits a pair. A 6-0 run to begin this game by the home team. BYU down 6-0, looking to get on the board here. Whiting crosses midcourt. Now to Calvert, dribble handoff to Smiler. Smiler, three-point range straight away. Out on the wing, now down low to Gustin. Back up to Whiting, three-point range, 10 seconds for a shot. Whiting, cross-court pass to Woolston, and Woolston... Does not get a chance to drive. An offensive foul. It's going to be called on a legal screen by Emma Calvert. And Calvert is going to have to take a seat. And checking into the game for the first time is Lauren Davenport. Calvert sitting down. BYU trailing 6-0. Anna Gret Asi now up top to Egarevba. And a handoff to Hurd. Hurd on the right side of the floor. Cut off baseline. Good defense by the Cougars. Forcing the pass out. Garzon, three on the way. Skims the rim and out of bounds. It will be BYU basketball. Had a chance to talk with Lior Garzon at the Big 12 Media Days in Kansas City this summer. She is from Israel. So you can imagine the emotions that she's been going through over the last couple of months and had a really interesting and... Um, thought-provoking talk with her at, at Media Day. It was fun to get a chance to talk with her and have her open up about things going on in her home country. 6 nothing, Oklahoma State. And a push in the back on Oklahoma State. The foul on number 24 is Praise Egarevba. And Egarevba out and back in is Gusters. Hannah Gusters, the junior from Dallas, Texas, back in. Cougars inbound. Davenport cut off, step through, passes out of it, out in the corner to Woolston. Woolston has it taken away. Staley Hurd with the steal. Now on the move, all the way coast to coast, off the glass. No good rebound, Gustin. Little too strong by Hurd. And the Cougars still trying to find their first points with six and a half minutes to go here. Back to Gustin. Strong drive, tripped up. Should be in the act of shooting. It should be two free throws coming up for Lauren Gustin. I've not seen a signal. It is going to be two, so she will head to the free throw line. And the free throws were brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. Riley Langerman into the ball game for number four, Anna Gret Asi from Estonia. So this Oklahoma State team with players from Estonia, Israel, Australia, Germany. First free throw no good by Gustin. Lauren Gustin leading this team in points and rebounds. 16 and 15 respectively. Also leads this team in minutes played at 35.9. Second free throw too strong. Rebound Garzon and an 0 for 2 trip by Gustin. Cougars still looking for their first points. Out on the wing to Hurd. Heard now dribbles right to left. Out to Garzon. Dribble handoff to Noble. Noble has it knocked away. Recollects. 
Good defense by Whiting. Whiting forcing the bad shot. Rebound Cougars. Excellent defense by the freshman. Whiting. Push shot. In the middle of the lane. No good. Rebound to Hurd. Cougars are getting good looks. Just not getting anything to fall right now. And they're falling behind 6-0. Off the glass. And a foul will be called on Amari Whiting. Fouling Staley Hurd on the shot. So these will be two more free throws. It will also be BYU's third team foul. Right into the body of Whiting. It'll be free throws once again. BYU 0 for 5 from the floor. And the first free throw is good by Hurd. And the lead is 7-0 for Oklahoma State. In the middle of a very unexpected cold spell here in Stillwater. And second free throw no good. The rebound off of Oklahoma State. Originally they called it off BYU, but the referee down low says that's my fault. Made the correct call, and it's BYU basketball. Temperature's been in the 20s with a little bit of snow, and they're not used to getting snow at all here. Today a little warmer, but with the wind, it still felt pretty chilly. And again, these are not conditions that uh, people in this part of the country are used to. Five and a half minutes to go. Ball down low for BYU. Up top, three on the way from Davenport. Bounces around and out. And a rebound fought for and pulled down by Langerman. That was an excellent look by Davenport. Just bounced out. Down low to Gusters. Gusters kicks out on the wing. Out to Noble. To Garzon. Garzon drives. Pulls up from 10 feet. Hits the jump shot. Bounced around the rim and fell in. And BYU down 9-0 halfway through the first quarter. Exactly five minutes remaining. And it's 9-0 Oklahoma State. Davenport. Bounce pass to Gustin. Out to Woolston. She'll take the three. Hits the front of the rim. Offensive rebound for Gustin, but taken away by Langerman. Riley Langerman, the senior from right nearby in Norman. That's obviously Sooner territory, but a cowgirl is where she's decided to play basketball. Garzon drives baseline. Kicks out to Noble. Up top. Heard three from the angle. No good. Rebound BYU. And a foul before. The foul will be called on Garzon. And a timeout will be taken with 4.29 left in the first quarter. 9-0 Oklahoma State leading the BYU Cougars on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For 150 years, Zions Bank has been serving the communities where you live, work, and play. For financial experience, you can count on for the next 150 years, Zions Bank is for you. We've talked a lot about on uh, previous broadcasts the importance of the first quarter. BYU is, is really stressed trying to come out and, and have a better start to games because when they don't and they trail after the first quarter, they're 2-6. and six. And that's in the last game, obviously, BYU's first Big 12 victory. They ended up leading. It was 13-12, to 12, but a lead nonetheless. And everybody talked about how important that stronger start and, and getting past that uh, that stigma of having a, a bad first quarter really helped and propel them. And right now, BYU has dug themselves a hole. They trail 9-0 here with 4.29 remaining in the first quarter. Still plenty of time for the Cougars to get back into this thing. We saw a similar start at TCU several weeks ago. BYU found themselves down 9-0, and they fought back and actually tied the game at 9 But right now, BYU will have the ball. A foul was called before the media timeout. And so it will be BYU possession and the Cougars with a substitution. Rose Bubakar into the ball game for the first time today. Rose right now averaging just three points and two rebounds. But she has been a big spark off the bench for the Cougars and really playing with a lot of confidence right now. Cougars in the front court. Wolston has it. Gustin sets the screen. Hand off to Davenport. Cross-court pass to Rose. Out to Woolston. Fakes the three. Back to Rose. Jump shot from the free throw line. No good. Rebound. Fought for and a jump ball. Possession arrow is pointing towards Oklahoma State. So Cowgirls will have the ball. 
Up 9-0 with 4.08 remaining in the first quarter. BYU coming off a win on Saturday. Oklahoma State coming off a loss at Kansas. Speaking of Kansas, the men's team was here last night taking on Oklahoma State and the Jayhawks taking down the Cowboys. Noble, three-pointer straight away. I believe BYU got a piece of that. That was an air ball. Rebound Cougars. Under four minutes to go. Still 9-0 Oklahoma State. Out to Smiler. Smiler into the corner to Woolston. Woolston steps behind the screen. Now passes out to Smiler. Down low to Gustin. Gustin. Like she was fouled. Up off the glass and in. Count it and one. Gustin caught the ball down low. There were two defenders that got a hand on the basketball for a second. I thought they were going to call another jump ball. But Gustin able to rip it away and go up for two. In the process, she was fouled. And now a three-point opportunity. One basket could lead to cutting a third of Oklahoma State's lead. Right now it's 9-2, can't be 9-3. And these free throws brought to you by Zions Bank. And it looks like there is a cut on Lauren Gustin's knee. And because there's blood, they need to go get that taken care of. So she's asking for a Band-Aid. And it's a quick 30-second timeout while Gustin gets a wrap on the knee to stop some bleeding. And that's been taken care of. Jeff Hurst handling business as the team trainer. And Gustin heading back to the free throw line for a possible three-point opportunity. Gustin at the free throw line, just over 40%, but drains that one. And it is a three-point play, and the Cougars are on the board. It's 9-3 Cowgirls, three and a half minutes to go here in the first. Noble drives baseline. Out to Garzon. Kick back in the corner. Now back to Garzon. Lear Garzon picks up the dribble. Out to Langerman. Hands off to Ebert. And now back to Noble. Noble dribbles right through the double team up and in for two. 11-3 Cowgirls. 3.05 remaining here in the first. Now showing some pressure as Woolston crosses midcourt. Woolston to Bubakar. Rose. Finds Davenport. Dav drives baseline, cut off. Passes to the cutting Woolston. Underhand scoop at the rim is in. Beautiful find by Davenport and a great finish by Kaylee Woolston. 11-5, BYU within six. Aussie passes up to Garzon in three-point range. Lior Garzon finds the cutting Noble. Reverse layup is good. BYU defenders were beat back door on the cut. And Noble finished on the reverse, 13-5. Count girls by eight. Bubakar. Lob pass to Gustin. Kicks it back out to Smiler. Out to Davenport. Three on the way, too strong. Offensive rebound, Cougars and Gustin. Back to Smiler. Fakes the three. Call for the travel first. And that's BYU's third turnover. None so far for Oklahoma State. 2.03 remaining in the first quarter. The BYU trailing by 8, 13 5. They'll inbound to Anna Gret Asi, the junior from Estonia, leading this team in assists at just over four. Smiler with the defense. Asi caught in the corner. Passes out of the double team to Hurd. Cross court pass to Langerman. Langerman drives baseline. Back up top to Hurd. Three pointer straight away is good. BYU had good defense. Oklahoma State just able to make one more pass, find the open look from straight away, and the three was drained. Under 90 seconds, Lauren Davenport. Strong drive, and a block will be called on Oklahoma State. The layup was missed, but Dav will head to the free throw line for two. It's now five team fouls on Oklahoma State, so BYU will be shooting free throws with every foul moving forward.
Davenport at the free throw line, a 64% free throw shooter. The Cougars as a team at 63%. First free throw is good by Lauren Davenport, junior from Idaho Falls. Averaging six points, three rebounds. Hits the front of the rim on the second one, so a one for two trip at the line. And it's 16-6, Oklahoma State. BYU trailing by 10 with 1-10 left here in the quarter. Langerman has it taken away by Whiting. They'll say a jump ball first, though. BYU possession, nicely done by Amari. Got her hands on it, wouldn't let go. Even BYU and another possession as we near one minute to go, down 10. Whiting to Smiler in the corner. Down low to Gustin. Gustin spins, goes to work and in. Nicely done, spinning to her left, off the glass and in. 16-8, 50 seconds left. Ossie in the paint and is fouled on the pass off. That will not be two free throws. That's BYU's fourth team foul. The foul will be on Davenport. So they will inbound, speaking of the Cowgirls, on the baseline. Aussie into Hurd, who hands off back to Aussie. Aussie dribbling from left to right. Langerman back to Aussie. Aussie picks up the dribble. Back to Langerman. Wide open three. Rims out, rebound, fought for, and pulled in by the Cougars. Nicely done by BYU. Down court and has it taken away. Davenport, the ball took a high bounce, and Langerman took it away on the high hop. On the other end, Noble hustles down the floor, up and in for two, and it's back to a 10-point lead, 18-8, Oklahoma State. Ten seconds left. Whiting has it. Gustin sets the screen. Whiting. With three seconds, spins, forces up a shot, has it blocked out of bounds with .2 seconds remaining. So BYU will inbound with .2 left in the quarter. Whiting will throw it in to Gustin. She put it up and in, but not before the horn sounded. Just too late. And the Cougars score eight in the first quarter, and they trail by 10, heading to quarter number two. Oklahoma State 18, BYU 8 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.